Following the incident where a semi-truck caught fire, causing a 16-hour highway closure, the initial investigation revealed that the driver had fallen asleep, leading to a significant impact on the Tesla truck's 900-kilowatt-hour battery pack. It's important to note that this was not Tesla's fault, and we appreciate your understanding. In response to the incident, Tesla has released numerous updates for the semi. Meanwhile, Elon Musk continues to ramp up production of electric trucks to meet demand, as shown by the increased sightings of new Tesla semis at Gigafactory Nevada. We'll also discuss some of the new design changes and potential battery modifications in the upcoming version of the Semi-TR, which seems necessary in light of the recent incident. Now let's dive into more details. Tesla's Semi is on the rise. Tesla's Semi is growing in new batteries. New battery advancements are making Elon Musk's goal of producing 50,000 Tesla semis annually increasingly achievable as Tesla intensifies efforts at the Giga Nevada factory. While currently focused on building a limited number of semis for internal use and customer deliveries, Tesla is gradually ramping up production. Concurrently, construction of the semi factory is accelerating, with expectations that the first electric trucks might roll off the production line next year. Interestingly, although not officially announced, there are indications that a Tesla Semi Gen 2 could be on the horizon. Dan Priestley disclosed that Tesla plans to introduce a new electric truck model with a sleeper cabin, enhancing comfort for long-haul deliveries. However, the release of this version hinges on the new factory's construction progress and the deployment of megachargers. This premium model is expected to be manufactured at the new factory, as Giga Nevada currently has the capacity to produce only the prototype version of the semi. At present, the Giga Factory Nevada is producing an average of 10 to 20 semis per week. Estimates suggest that Tesla could add between 500 and nearly 1,000 of these electric trucks this year. Some leaks have revealed that around 23 new semis have been spotted near the factory, based on footage from Tesla's Semi Advocate and Giga Nevada drone. Currently, the Semi uses 2,170 battery cells with a 900 kilowatts capacity, but will soon transition to a new battery type, a necessary change, particularly after a fire incident involving a Tesla Semi on the highway. Following the 12-hour-long fire incident, many are hopeful that Tesla will opt for LFP batteries. Regarding the Semi, it's unlikely that LFP batteries will be used due to their safety features. While LFP batteries are inherently safer due to their chemical stability and lower risk of overheating or exploding, we believe they lack the performance and range required for a semi. Additionally, they would add significant weight because of the larger battery pack needed. Instead, Tesla is looking to the new 4,680 cells as a replacement for the 2,170 cells currently used in the semi. You might be aware of the Nevada plant's expansion which includes two new production facilities, one dedicated to producing 4,680 battery cells with an annual capacity of 100 GWh, and another focusing on the large-scale production of the Tesla Semi. It seems unlikely that the Semi wouldn't use cells produced in the same factory, especially considering the cost-benefits Tesla gains from this setup. The Semi has faced delays primarily due to the wait for 4,680 cells. This shortage has limited electric truck production to about 100 units between 2022 and 2023. According to Tesla, the production rate of the 4,680 batteries is now higher, which is promising news for electric trucks. However, this doesn't mean the Tesla Semi will immediately switch to 4,680 batteries. The current models being produced at Giga Nevada still use the 2,170 cells. If our assumptions are correct, the switch to 4,680 batteries will occur once the Semi Factory is complete and the new Semi Gen 2 is in production. The 4680 batteries are a much better fit for Semi trucks due to their higher performance and safety benefits. With improved thermal management, the 4680 design effectively dissipates heat, reducing the risk of thermal runaway, a condition that can lead to fires or explosions when a battery overheats. The tabless design of the 4680 battery not only reduces internal resistance, but also improves temperature management, enhancing safety during high-performance operation. Its larger size allows it to be integrated into the vehicle structure, boosting durability and crash protection. This is especially important for trucks like the Semi, 
where safety and performance are paramount. The 4680 battery gives the Semi a longer range while providing greater safety assurance, making it well-suited for the demanding needs of future freight transport. However, battery safety is not the sole factor in an electric truck's safety. Driver behavior is also significant. Even the least safe lithium-ion battery packs typically do not cause fires or explosions without a collision. In a recent fire incident, it remains unclear if the driver fell asleep, lost control, or both, but it's apparent that the semi lacks one critical feature, a full self-driving system. Fortunately, Tesla is preparing to incorporate full self-driving into the semi, as indicated by recent footage. Two Tesla semis will soon, Tesla semi will soon have FSD. Truck accidents caused by fatigue are a growing concern, exacerbated by the pressure on drivers to cover long distances with inadequate rest. This year, there have been over 73,000 truck accidents in the U.S. alone. Since its introduction in 2017, the semi-truck has been seen as a groundbreaking advancement in transportation. Elon Musk believes it will not only reduce costs, but also enhance safety, particularly on steep inclines. The semi is approximately 26 cents cheaper per mile compared to a diesel truck, consuming 1.7 kilowatt hours of energy per mile. A 500-mile trip costs about $213 at $0.25 cents per kilowatt hour, while a diesel truck would require around 77 gallons of fuel, costing over $370. This significant difference in fuel costs could revolutionize the industry. Beyond cost efficiency, many former drivers believe their careers could have been extended if the Semi had a self-driving system earlier. We're excited to hear that the next version of the Semi will feature both a sleeper cab and full self-driving capabilities. This could be crucial for preventing accidents on the highway, a major need in the industry. Recently, a semi was seen testing near the Gigafactory in Nevada, sparking speculation that it might be trialing its autopilot and self-driving features. Footage by Henrik Zane shows the semi with data collection devices likely related to these tests. Although Tesla semis have hardware for autopilot and FSD, this testing may be part of configuring these systems for the semi, potentially including LiDAR to complement its camera-based vision. With a prototype spotted in 2018 having 26 exterior cameras, it's clear Tesla is focused on optimizing the semi for highway driving, which will help improve long-haul scenarios. Although Priestley and Elon haven't confirmed if the semi will include FSD technology, it's hard to believe they would miss this chance, especially after the recent collision. What's your take on FSD for the Semi? The Semi is a game changer for truck drivers, with NFI recently reporting improved efficiency and range over 6,000 miles. They've also been proactive in building a sustainable fleet, partnering with Southern California Edison and Electrify America for charging stations and adding other electric trucks. The Semi's official debut in Patterson, California marks a significant step. Elon has indicated that Tesla might start delivering semis to external customers in 2026. While we don't know the exact price yet, which could range from $150,000 to $250,000, we expect regular updates to the semi, like other Tesla models. Tesla Semi will be produced at Giga Berlin. In early March, during a visit to Giga Berlin, Elon Musk announced that the plant would be ideal for producing the semi truck, stating, I think it makes sense to produce the semi-truck in Europe at Giga Berlin. Although the new Nevada factory is ramping up production, it seems the semi might start rolling off the line in Berlin sooner than expected. Last week, Tesla shipped two semis to Giga Berlin, where they were seen being unloaded from trailers. These trucks are likely headed to the Model Y production facility in Germany. The unexpected arrival of these electric trucks in Europe has sparked curiosity about regional logistics. Tesla brought two semi-trucks to Giga Berlin for two main reasons. First, Dan Priestley, Tesla's senior manager for the semi-program, will be speaking at the IAA transportation event in Hanover on September 17th and 18th, where he will discuss the Tesla semi and its use by PepsiCo in the U.S. Second, Tesla is testing and seeking approval for the semi in Europe before it integrates the trucks into Giga Berlin's production line. Tesla plans to build a mega-charging network in both the U.S. and Europe for the semi, and European regulations require modifications due to size restrictions. 
European Class A trucks must be shorter and lighter compared to U.S. models, with a maximum height of 18.75 meters and a weight limit of 40 tons. This could necessitate redesigns for the Tesla Semi to meet these standards. Switching to zero-emission vehicles could also help reduce transport costs, making the European market a key target for Tesla's electric trucks. Tesla has received orders for its semi-truck from European customers, including Norwegian company Asco, which has ordered 10 units. Asco, already using a European electric truck, sees Tesla's semi as having superior features. Elon Musk is committed to mass-producing the Tesla semi believing it will reduce operational costs for companies and establish Tesla as a leader in electric transport. Major companies like PepsiCo, Walmart, and Costco are testing the semi, reflecting a shift towards electric vehicles for environmental and economic benefits. Musk asserts that companies not adopting the semi are missing out on cost savings and predicts high sales volumes.